You need to stop coming to me for advice. I know this sounds a little ironic because I am a YouTuber and you sort of expect me to give advice to people. But this is the thing that I mean. I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram in my DMs. Now, the problem is that most of the questions that I've been getting are very useless, generic questions. They aren't questions where people are looking for like an actual piece of knowledge, very specific questions about an actual situation where you're looking for an actual piece of knowledge. No, 90% of the questions that I'm getting are questions where people are just asking me for tips or motivation. They say something like, I'm trying to quit porn, I'm struggling, please give me some tips. I don't know what to do. Or it's a little bit more specific. So someone might say, well, I always relapse after three weeks. So how do I deal with the urges after three weeks? But if you think about it objectively, that question really doesn't mean anything. You're still just asking for tips and motivation. This is the problem. If you're asking a question like that, all that you are really doing, because you're not asking anything real, there's nothing I can tell you that I haven't already said in one of my videos, you are really just fooling yourself because you are sort of hoping that I'm going to give you this one special tip that is going to make a difference. This this one thing. So before you've never been able to do it, but then I give you this one magical tip that will change your life and now you will get the motivation to actually do it. That's essentially what you're asking me. I mean, think about it. <laughs> what the hell am I going to tell you? There is nothing that I can tell you that I haven't already said in one of my videos or that other people on the internet haven't already said. There's nothing. You're not asking me anything serious. You're just, you're just saying, hey man, I'm struggling to do this and I hope that you can magically uh, help me with this, that you can say this one thing and then poof, and then everything works out for me. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Think about it. That's what you're asking me. And you're not really helping yourself with that because this is the worst part. You're not just asking anything. You're not, you're not just asking something that is just completely silly to begin with. But the problem is when you are asking me something like this, you are essentially shifting away the responsibility from yourself onto me. You are subconsciously telling yourself, I cannot do it myself. I need this other person to say this thing to me and then I'll be able to, to bring up the motivation to do it. You are shifting away the responsibility from yourself onto another person. Think about it. If you think about it like that, you probably know how silly that is, right? Because when it comes to changing yourself, no matter on what aspect of your life that is, whether it is quitting porn or going to the gym or whatever, fixing your health, whatever it is, taking responsibility is the first step. You can never really change yourself, do anything significant in your life if you don't first take responsibility for yourself. So no offense, but if you're asking me a dumb question like that, where you're essentially just saying, well, I'm struggling up until now, give me this one magical thing and then I'll get the motivation to do it. You are telling yourself that you cannot handle the responsibility and that you need me to take the responsibility for you. I have unironically got people apologize to me for relapsing. They said, I am so sorry. I relapsed. I apologize. I will never do it again. I promise. Think about the mindset that you are having when you're saying something like that. You are just viewing yourself as completely incapable. When you say something like that, you haven't even begun to try to give it a serious try, right? Because you have literally not even begun to take responsibility over your own life. Again, how the hell do you expect to make any significant changes if you are literally not taking responsibility over yourself? If you are putting the responsibility onto this other person, Think about it. I'm honored, guys. I'm really honored that you view me as this sort of 
source of authority. But don't. I'm a guy in front of a camera, like on the other side of the world for a lot of people. Literally just a guy. Now sure, you can watch my videos and you can use me as a source of information or inspiration, but don't ever think that I am a source of authority. Because as soon as you start seeing me as a source of authority, you are putting the responsibility onto me. And if you are putting the responsibility onto me, it's never going to work. I see this pattern all the time. The people <coughs> that actually make changes in their life, actually quit porn, that actually lose weight, whatever it is they want to do, they watch other people like YouTubers as a source of information and inspiration, but never as a source of authority. They might disagree with things that these people are saying. I like to watch some YouTubers that I disagree with on some points. But despite the fact that I disagree with them on some points, I still think they can provide me with either information or inspiration. You need to make a clear distinction between that. Again, guys, I am honored that you guys like me that much that you start to view me as a source of authority. But don't, never, never view me as a source of authority. The only one that can really help you in the end is you. And you can use other people as for information and inspiration, but never shift the responsibility onto these people. In the end, I cannot really help you. Another YouTuber cannot really help you. This guy selling you an expensive course is not the magical answer to your problems. You, you are the only answer to your own problems. You need to take responsibility over your own life. Again, think about it. I know I like to say think about it a lot, but really think about it. Do you think I successfully managed to quit porn because I had this ultimate source of authority that I reported to and apologized to? No. I managed to quit porn because I made the decision to actually do it. If someone else, like this YouTuber that I watched, I, I didn't even watch YouTubers when I started NoFab, I actually did it by myself. But if I would have watched this YouTuber during that phase of my life that said, you shouldn't quit porn, it's, it's useless, it's dumb, I would have said, well, fuck you. I don't care what you say. If I make a video tomorrow where I say, guys, just give up on NoFab because there's no point. Hmm? You'll, not, you'll never quit anyway, just give up on NoFab. Here are the benefits of watching porn. You should say, fuck you, Rob, I don't care. I've made the decision to quit porn, so I am going to quit porn. Do you think this guy selling you an expensive course managed to quit porn himself because he watched an expensive course? <laughs> no, he didn't. He did it himself because he made the choice to quit porn. He made the choice to take responsibility over his own life and that's why he quit porn. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that a course cannot provide you with any valuable information. They definitely can, but they are not the ultimate solution to your problems. As long as you don't make the choice yourself to take responsibility over your own life, then a course isn't going to be the solution that is going to make any significant changes in your life. Only thing you can do is do it yourself. Responsibility over your own life.